Hi everyone, I'm Charlotte Strong and I am in the studio today because I had such a fun time doing the pour over the styrofoam um, piece before, I thought I would do another one. Um, I'm going to start off showing you the Vallejo pouring medium container, the Vallejo pouring medium that I'm using um, in my paints and the reason I want to show it to you is to show you how fluid it is. It's very much like water and because it is so fluid it's very much like an airbrush medium. Um, that's why you really don't have to add water um, or uh, anything else. It's a lot thinner than um, the Liquitex pouring medium. So I am using um, Vallejo pouring medium and Floetrol. Um, that is my mix. Um, and I'm using Montmart um, Studio Acrylic uh, paint. Um, I'm using um, two colors of this today, uh, turquoise and orange. Montmart Studio Acrylic uh, in turquoise and orange. And... I'm using Folk Art Color Shift um, in several different colors. Um, green Flash, uh, Blue Flash, Orange Flash. Black Flash and Purple Flash. So those are the other colors that I am using today. And I have also added Diamethicone 500 um, in all of the colors. I am not using a white uh, in the paints. I have added Diamethicone 500 as my silicone. It is a um, a pharmaceutical grade um, silicone um, and I have added that to um, all of um, the colors. I want to add some of the turquoise around the base of the canvas. I'm going to do this in a fairly thin layer. And also around the sides. I want the turquoise to be my base color and also I want um, some color as the base to help the paint flow. on two pairs of gloves on the hand for that purpose, but I'm probably going to use my hands again because it's just what I do. And now I think I'm probably off camera. I'm just taking all of my stirring spoons out of my cup. so that I can start with the pores. I don't have a plan in mine. I just 
want to play. This is a wood gesso board that I have um, as the base this time. It's not a canvas. And this time I have the star foam glued in. or glued down to the board.
just coming in with some of the orange to the blank spot. And I'm not going to torch it. I could torch the board part, but I don't want to chance it. And that's a blank canvas that I'm pouring on. I am very, very big on conserving your paint, reusing your paint. And I want the sides to have that swipe look as well. So I'm going to come in and swipe along the sides. really wish I had poured up or mixed up more of the um, flash, the black flash, because I really like that color. Okay, let's go in for a close-up. really love this corner right in here. There's some really great cells. This whole bottom part right here has really awesome cells. And there's actually some really awesome cells on the styrofoam um, half round. And just some really cool effects in general on the half round. Scroll out a little bit.
on top of the fluid pour I used um, Liquitex pouring medium. I did a, a really good clean to try to get as much of the dimethicone off of it as I could um, and then covered it with uh, Liquitex pouring medium. So now I'm going to cover it with resin and we'll see what happens. The resin may melt the styrofoam may actually cover it. I really don't know what's going to happen. I have a fire extinguisher nearby just in case it catches on fire. So let's go in with um, this piece and see what happens. I hope it works. I'm going to have to stay with this one for a while just to make sure that the heat from the cure doesn't um, do weird things, you know, like catch it on fire. If it melts and, you know, collapses the styrofoam, I'm okay with that. Um, I just don't want it to catch on fire and be a hazard. So far so good, but the resin is still cold and it's going to be a good 30 minutes from the time that I did the mix before it starts heating up and curing. torch this because of the styrofoam. So I did a very careful stir. To get as few bubbles in it as possible. What I can do is spray it with alcohol.
going to lightly spray it with alcohol. If the alcohol happens to give it dimples, oh well. Okay. The alcohol did take care of the bubbles. So I'm not going to touch it anymore. And I can see that I have some dimpling spots um, on that piece. I also have... I'm just going to rub in that spot, hopefully picking up some of the silicone that's there. have a tendency with resin to just, you know, pour it on and then just walk away. But when you have silicone or you've done an acrylic pour on your piece, you often need to babysit it. So this is the finished piece hanging on the wall. Finished with resin. I think it turned out really well. And the resin did not melt the styrofoam. It just put a really great shine on the piece. Let me go closer.
And then I'll come back out again. I'm going to turn out <clears throat> lights and see if that helps with the glare. It was tons of fun to do. I'm going to see what else I can find to pour on top of um, because it was just so much fun. And I really like the way it looks. I like the way it turned out.